Good morning peeps, James Atkins Fishing here again. Right, for you lovely subscribers, I'm back at Broom Pits again, but in the different pit. As you can see, this is called, I think, A Pit. Let's have a look. Now, they call this A Pit. The poor old place is in desperate need of rain. The water's down a little bit. I plan on putting a method feeder over there and out here somewhere. There's a lot of fish on the surface. I think they're only roach or rud. Still, I've got to give it a try because it's my first time here. And as you can see, <laughs> that's, that's quite steep. The van's right up there. <laughs> but never mind. Right. I'll get back to you shortly, hopefully, when I'm set up. And I'll see you shortly. Well, peeps, I've found some fish down here already. They're right down in the side here. I've been feeding them a bit of bait. They're little carp, about two pound commons I can see down there. Look at them go for them pellets. What I'll do is I'll, as I said before once in the other film, I'll zoom it in when I do the downloading. They like fat boy focus, look. <laughs> I'll get a float on in a minute, I'll nab one or two. <laughs> Cheeky little monkeys come fish right up by your rod tip. Because my rod tip is just there, look. When I first see them, they were right down here. But I keep them feeding over there somewhere, so when I set up my waggler rod, I did have a set up by caught in that tree over there. Don't, lost it all. <laughs> there you go. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, what I'm going to do is cheat a bit. I've got my pellet waggler set up and I've seen them carp down there as you probably see them right now. Let's have a go for one, see if everyone will take that pellet. Just a six mil pellet, just see what happens. I ignored that because I think they see the float. So I bring it up again. Plop it in at the same time, see what happens. Well, how did he miss that? <laughs> Here we are, we're in. That'd be my first fish out of this lake. And the first fish on this new rod. My new waggler rod. Right, come away from all your mates. I'll see if I can turn him around this way. <laughs> That's probably about a two pound common. I guess I watched him take it. Come on my little beauty, you're not massive but you're a lovely little fishy. <laughs> I don't know if it seemed fair catching them down there in front of me like that. <laughs> Teasing them into taking the feed, but there you are. Let's get him in. Got him. <laughs> oh. Right, let's turn him around. Whoop, sorry about that, I spun you around a bit quick. Be a little bit bigger than I thought. Steady on mate, steady, steady. Come on, let's get you out. There you go. Whoops. Right. <laughs> My first fish out of this other lake, if I can hold him. 
Lovely little common. I don't know if I know how to fight. <laughs> Lovely little fishy. Do nicely. Well done, mate. Thank you. <laughs> That's my first fish out of here. Nice little common. <laughs> well, I mean, we're number two. Don't feel so big, but that's on the pellet waggler again. I've been feeding a swim out there so I can reach with both the method feeder and pellet waggler. Can't see what this is just yet. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Big roach or a rod, I think. Took a 10 mil fat boy, Fuka bait. <laughs> Let's have a look, see what it is. It's actually a bream, I think. It could be a cross. It's a bit dark for a bream. So I reckon that's a hybrid. Do nicely though. <laughs> oh, I had another one down here and lost it. <laughs> well, I'm in again on the pellet waggler. Seems strange to me as if that first fish I got out there on the waggler was a bream. And that's, I'm only fishing about two foot deep and I'm sure it's deeper out there than that. But I come up after it, I suppose. There's another one. Whether they're hybrids or not, I don't know. I'll have to get you to message me on there. I'll give you a close up of this one. Mind you, they're more bream than our roach. They're taking a 10 mil fat boy Fuga bait. <laughs> well, we're in again. And this one's certainly not a bream. <laughs> that bit hit the water and within 10 seconds, boom, that's gone. Don't know if you hope you can see that. Well, I'm liking this already. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll show you the setup in a minute. I had to change the waggler float because I told you I lost one in the tree out there. <laughs> Tell you what, they're not very big. I see him now, he's not very big. He's like the first one I got. They're not very big, but my God, don't they go. <laughs> show they're nice and fit fish, don't it? I like the feel of the new rod. Oh, oh, come on, my old fruit. I brought you in 20, 30 yards. <laughs> still not heaven, are you? Come on, my little beauty. I'm still feeding them ones right down the side there. There's still seven or eight little commons down there. No mirrors there, they're all commons. Oh, Bennett. God, I don't know what a big one would fight like, my God. I've had double figure fit fight less than this. Oh, and then I lose it while you go to the foot of my stairs. Well, let's try again. Don't think this one's a carp. This one's definitely more roach. Or is that still a hybrid? I'd still say it's a hybrid. Still 
put it in the comments below. Tell me off. <laughs> so I want to know better at my age. <laughs> if you never caught me, you don't know. <laughs> well, we're in again on the waggler. Lovely old jubbly. Nice and still here today. Because if the wind get up, I'll have to go back on the method. I will do it in a little while. I'll catch a few more like this. That's such good fun. It's busy, busy. If you know, fire catapults, um, pellets out, and I'm still catching them on Fat Boy Fuka, but I'm firing six mil pellets out. Only little fish, but my God, they don't have go, which make it even more fun. As I said earlier, I've had double figure fish fight less than these do. <laughs> Oop, school boy. <laughs> God, I'm Bennett. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> Lovely common carp, beautiful condition. Look at that. Lovely condition. Beautiful condition fish. <laughs> Perfect. Woohoo. Well we're in with the feeder. I keep feeding those carp down that edge, but they seem a bit <laughs> unfair to catch too many of them. <laughs> I will catch one or two more. But I've got a lot of fish feeding out in that swim there. I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. I'll zoom in on it with the app, obviously, and show you the fizzing that's going on down there. Oh, I've got a lovely tench. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. I just finished my tea. Cool heck. Feels like a lovely tench. <laughs> I just see them in the clear water because it's very clear here. Lovely. They said there was some good tension here. He's caught weed now. Should be right, here he come. Yeah, lovely. Oh, he's a strong old tench. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is a lovely tench. I reckon he's getting near my best. Crikey, look at that. Need a disgorger. He took it down fairly. So he couldn't take it down too far because I've only got a, a short hook link on the I film you and I caught the hook and the, the disgorger. I'll get out in a minute. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Get out of my fingers. I'll leave that on there. Look at that beautiful tinge. Crikey, yeah, look at that. He's got half his tail missing, but look at that for a tinge, will you? <laughs> look at his lovely red eyes. Brilliant. I'll weigh him and I'll see if that is my best yet with half a tail. I'll get back to you in a minute. Let's have another quick look at him. 
at the size of that. <laughs> he like a 10 mil Fuka bait. <laughs> and he beautiful, look at the size of them fins, they're nearly as big as my hands. And I've got big old hands, as I've said before. <laughs> a beautiful fish. Lovely. Right, let's get out and see if I can get another tench. Lovely, like that one. That was just just over five pounds. That was. It's quite deep out there, actually. I was catching them bream earlier on the waggler. That must be eight foot out there. Maybe more. I don't know. It took several seconds for feeder to hit the bottom. See if we can get another one. <laughs> well, I just moved the camera over there. <laughs> Look back and the tip was gone. <laughs> just got a message from my Good old friend, John Murray. Oh, that's a, another bream, I think. Yes, it is a bream, yeah. Bit better one too, not bad at all. Oh, good old dark one. Yeah. Well, a fish are going now. I've still got my carp down here, right on this edge here, I'll show you earlier. They got spooked off because two blooming dogs come walking down here and plumbed into the water. <laughs> Not a bad bream. Got a funny eye. <laughs> Brilliant. There we are, look. I've got a Oh, natural fuca in there on a size 12 hook as you can see just see the tip of the hook and that's on a free flow I won't pull it too hard because I'll pull the bait out all right and that's 32 gram hybrid method feeder matrix that's how I'm catching them fish at the minute and that tench oh we're in again and there's a pike sitting down here now like I said, pike, it's not very big. It's another good sized fish by the feel of it. Funny little bites, so sort of little twitches like that and then bang. <laughs> Isn't that down there ready? Oh, heck. Oh, right. <laughs> Could this be another tinge? Don't want to have pull, crikey. I'm liking this lover. This, uh, I think they, I said earlier, they, they call this a pit. There's a tree over there, I don't want to get it in there. Come on, my little booty. <laughs> no, it's a carp, I just see it. Nice one too, brilliant. And uh, as I said earlier, just down there where I'm feeding them fish, I see one down there just now and that. <laughs> that looked like a double figure. 
I'll wait till he come back and I'll drop a pellet on him with the pellet waggler. I was going to show you that setup in a little while, but I've been a bit busy, as you can see. That's quite clear water, actually. I don't seem to be putting the fish off, though. I'll see if I can, when I do the head, and see if you can see that fish on film under the water there. Look, I've got to put my Polaroids in front of the lens, don't I? <laughs> Bennett, they know how to fight in there, I'll give them that, my god. Don't think he's that big, but... Plenty big enough, cool, lovely. Come on, my baby. Yeah, he's getting slower. Well, that might not look up, but... <laughs> oh, got him. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, put the rod rest around there, that's better. Lovely. Just hooked in the bottom lip, and that's out. Perfect. Now get out of my finger, you twit. Drop it in there. Let's have a look at him. Come on, old partner. Look at that, booey. Lovely, look at that. Ooh, steady, steady, steady. I reckon that's seven or eight pound easily. <laughs> look at that, there we go. Brilliant. What I'm gonna do in a minute, I've got a cheapy camera there. It's got a waterproof casing on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tr put it in the water down there so you can see them fish I'm feeding and I'll show you a little bit underwater action. <laughs>
what I've done as you can see I've mixed some Fuca baits in here, micro Fuca baits in with the two mil uh, pellets for the method feeder and you can see I just as I show you before I'll make a little mound just there put my 10 mil Fuca bait on there and you can see where I've hooked it here sit that up against that little mound just push it in gently not too hard but a few more around it to hold it in position there you can see the tip of the hook here we go again here we go again There's no carp this time, and I don't think it's a tench either. No, that's a bream. Yeah, another nice bream. Look, 10 mil Vuga. <laughs> I'll just get that from around out and show you the fish. Oh, there we are. Another nice old bream, look. <laughs> Do nicely. Nice fish in this place. Get out like that, tip him out, shake the muck off. <laughs> See that little tiny, tiny touch? Well, I've done that with that five pound bream, uh, sorry, tinge. It done little twitches like that. So I left it and left it and it didn't move, so I hit it and that was big tinge. <laughs> Let's see if I spawn this time. Leave it a little bit longer so you can see the tip move. And again, look. There's still loads of carp down here by me. I keep feeding them. There's one just hit the surface there, as you probably see on the camera. Same little twitches. I'll zoom that in so you can see that, but it was just little movements like that. That's how I, when I got that big old tension, just tiny little twitches, and then it sort of one bang and I hit it and that was it. Still, I'll let you know if that do turn into a bite. Well, that's twitching again. I'll see if I can catch that on film again for you. Just in time to catch that aeroplane going over. <laughs> Still I notice I'm not the only one with videos with aeroplanes and helicopters and stuff. Go on, go again just for the camera, go on. <laughs> it's not going to do it, is it? I think what I'll do in a minute is I've got another camera in my bag there oh there we go and a slack liner so oh there's nothing there would well, you believe it <laughs> and this is what that bite was another beautiful beautiful tinge look at that <laughs> and this one's a shout out to my friend john murray Yes, mate, and uh, John Wilson lived just down the road. <laughs> what are you used to, poor old boy? Look at that, it's another beautiful tinge. <laughs> they like the fat boy Fuchs as well. Oh, the size of the mouth on it. Beautiful, look at them lovely red eyes. All right, mate, that was lovely, wasn't it? Thank you very much for that. Oh, beautiful, he ain't as big as the, quite as big as the other one, but. I won't weigh him. Right, that's two beautiful tench, lovely carp. 
They're not very big carp, but they don't matter. That last carp was a nice one. Yeah, it's very deep out there, actually. I would say it is. Let's tighten up. Beautiful day. Hardly a breath of wind. It's ideal for the waggler, but it's weird I catch and bream on a waggler. And that's about eight, nine foot deep out there. <laughs> Here we go again, just having a sandwich and bang the tip went round. <laughs> yeah, another bream. Smallest one of the day, but never mind it, don't matter. Dark for small bream in it. Oh, we are, we are again. Another common carp. Yeah, lovely looking little fish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. brilliant. Cool, heck man. They're not very big fish, but my God. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, I think that last bream I got, I forgot to turn the mics on. I've been charging them up. And I forgot to turn them on. Oh, the heck, man. I think I said that before. I've had double figure fish doing less of a fight. I think I'll say here he come, but no, not yet. <laughs> get his head up, get his head up. Yes! <laughs> Lovely. Cool, he's a chubby one. Beautiful. Steady, steady, steady. Let me pick you up and just show you off to the camera. There we go. Look at that. Look, he's all riled up because he's got his fin up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Another nice little bream. <laughs> well, nice and busy. Fish are still fizzing out there. Let's see if we can get another one. So I mean, it's quite deep out there. It's 
Still, the sun's not out too bright, but it's still quite muggy. No, ain't that's toogy. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. Duh. <laughs> still, got a nice lot of fish. Two beautiful tench. I'd love another big old tench. That'd be brilliant. So we never know, we keep feeding it. What I'm doing, I'll show you my bait tray in a minute, which I haven't done already. I'll show it to you next. Or I'll put that in earlier in the video so you can see what I've been using and I'll explain what I've been doing as well. Right, concentrate on that tip. You should watch my mate's channel, John Murray. He's an angling addict. He's on YouTube as well. Very good videos he make. Cheers, John. Tight lines, mate. And then went again. That stopped. It could have been a liner. Chap over the other side, he's catching as well. I, can't, I think he's on a float or something because when he casts us, whew, so he might be on a float or waggler fishing like I was a little while ago. I might get back on the waggler again in a little while. Here we are again. <laughs> Actually, there's some stuff falling out of the sky. I think they call it rain. We haven't seen it here for several months. <laughs> And it was welcome because our gardens at home are absolutely bone dry and I mean bone dry my little piece of lawn is, is not grass it's just dead brown but we're getting a few spots don't think it's time to run after the brolly I haven't got to go far but don't want to do that do we <laughs> Well, here's my bait tray. There's my micros with a micro fuca bait in it as well. Uh, six mil pellets I've been firing out over there. Got me good old faithful 10 mil fat boy fuca baits. And then my other fuca baits are here, as you can see, we've got black, yellow, white, and red. And I'm firing little bits out at a time. And the fish are still down there, as you can see. I'll show you they're still there, look. As soon as you chuck them in there they boom and that's my bait tray and as you can see there's a few spots of water coming down whoa oh, and another nice bream <laughs> they're nice old bream in here aren't they i didn't think there was good ones in here but the chap who come and get your money told me they go up to eight pound plus in here and here we are again, I just see it, it's another common carp. Oh, and the bubbles are still bubbling, they're cold out there. As I keep saying, they fight. They're not very big, but my God. Brilliant fishing in this place. And the big lake I was in the other week was, was only 100 yards away. So, <laughs> and that rain didn't last. Or a few spots of rain didn't last. Oh, come on, my booty. So there's no rush. Oh, yeah, don't poke at him. <laughs> I just thought he was ready, but he's not. Nice fish, mint condition. Cool. Oh, heck, man. Got him. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
Beautiful. Right in the lip, that's lovely. If I can get a hold of it, come here. Beautiful job, just like that. Ooh, steady, steady. Look out for mint condition, look. Isn't that perfect? Oh, lovely, I don't know. Four, nearly five, pushing five pound, I expect. Beautiful fish. Brilliant condition. Oh, lovely fish to finish on, isn't it? Oh, perfect. Catch you later. I'll be fishing again somewhere soon. I don't know when, but bye-bye for now.